Together, guys. 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 You know, this is a movie about love and family, the power of the human spirit. And uh, I think it's a story that we all need to see, hear, and feel. I had seen the, the, uh, the picture of Whipped Peter. Um, as a child, I had seen it, but I didn't know much about it. Um, and then when I read the, the screenplay, um, it's very rare that as an actor, you read something like that, that you know you absolutely positively have to make this movie. When I create, my hope is always to be able to open up compassion, you know, to be able to play a character, to be able to tell a story that you feel it in a way that it unlocks some part of your heart. Um, toward the plight of another human. And I think that th this film does that beautifully. I play Gordon. I'm one of the other enslaved men who meet Peter at one of the camps and hear about the fact that some some slaves are free, some people are running to freedom, some others have already been emancipated and start to realize together that we have a chance to change our lives for the first time. It's a story you want to tell as truthfully as possible uh, to honor the lives of the people you're trying to depict who essentially brought us to where we are today. I'm a fan of Will Smith, and, and, and I think he's done some of the, the best work uh, of his career in this film. Well, I think if you turn on the news cycle, you can see uh, unbelievable racial cruelty and anti-Semitic cruelty on a daily basis. So was it hard? It, it, it's, it's heartbreaking to see that the repercussions of what we've done in this country uh, still exists. I hope people have an open-hearted dialogue about our, our commonalities and our responsibilities uh, for the actions of the past. I play Lorette, Will Smith's younger daughter. I want people to learn that, like, um, do not treat people that way of how that was, like, um, a long time ago. It's heavy. It's a heavy time period. We shot on an actual plantation, so it was very, very intense. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't an easy one. He's great. He's charming. He's a great leader. He's so generous. He's a marvelous actor, a great talent. He's all the things you want, all the things you expect from Will Smith. It's not an enslavement movie. It's, it's a freedom movie. It's a love movie. It's a family movie. It's a family about love overcoming all odds to bring a family back together. That's really what in my, I haven't seen it yet, but that's what I saw in the script. Working with Antoine was probably one of the highlights of my life so far, to be able to work with Antoine Fuqua. And, I, and I, the same for Will Smith. I mean, unfortunately, the time was very short. But with Antoine, we had more time. We had conversations. He's just the best. Honestly, it was the hardest movie I've ever done. It's phenomenal to be able to work. Um, beside Will and some other guys who just embraced the whole the whole movie, the empowerment of it, being in the swamps and making everything is real. So it it was phenomenal. Will Smith, his acting is on another level. Our first day of shooting with him, his stuntman, he was like, "No, I'm doing it." <laughs> he took off ready down the field by himself, and I was like, "Okay, he's all in."
I am one of the main overseers that torment Peter's family. So a pretty heavy, bad guy role. The inhumane way that people were treated in that time is something that I think is whitewashed today. And I think Antoine and Will have done, I mean, and the whole crew have done a beautiful job of telling a story in a brutally honest way that portrays a very uncomfortable time in our history. Harrington is a, a part of a trilogy of uh, ex-Confederate soldiers uh, uh, led by Ben Foster who have been hired to chase down Peter, uh, Will Smith's character. As cliche as it is, this, if, if uh, we don't know our history, we're condemned to repeat it. Uh, no hyperbole, Will Smith is the nicest man I ever met, and I worked with him for six months. Uh, he's just, I mean, he's, he's the best. You're going to feel, you're going to feel, you know, and it, 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 yeah, it represents, right, this 400 years of slavery. It's an important, an important, important thing. So I think, yeah, it's, 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 it's tough to watch, but it's going to be, it's beautiful, tragically beautiful. Right here, right here. I play uh, Major General Halstead, George Blight Halstead who was uh, instrumental in putting the black slaves together with the soldiers. I play Thomas in the character. I'm one of the youngest in the movie. Um, he's just the youngest and I was taken and I think I show a part of the vulnerability of a young man on a plantation. I remember tweeting back in 2014 when I first moved to LA. I was like, my dream is to work with Will. So then fast forward seven years later, I'm working with Will. Leeds is a former soldier who's been injured, who watches over the slaves at the Confederate Railroad camp where uh, the beginning, first half of the movie takes place. He's definitely not a good guy, no. He's an awful guy. Sometimes I would see shots happening where there's no production in my eye shot, and, and it, it was disturbing. I never worked on a movie with so little dialogue. You know, most of it is, there is no dialogue, and it's, it's Peter, you know, running for his life in this incredible setting and beautifully shot. So the music had to convey a lot and had to, it's almost wall-to-wall -wall music. I felt a little bit like, it's a little bit like the Odyssey in a way where this, this incredible epic journey that this man has to go through. Peter's story has endured for 160 years. It's never been brought to life, and I thought that there was a time that the world needs healing and to be brought together in a way that he did 160 years ago, and Will and Antoine grabbed onto that idea. We knew this was about faith and love and so much positive things that we just thought this should be done. I just thought it was an amazing piece of American history that hadn't really been told and I was kind of fascinated by everyone had an image in mind and didn't really know a story.